So in this one, I'm going to add a wall to our exterior. We'll add a doorway and we'll link both the UV maps and the material from this door onto this door. So let's get started. I'm going to press 7 and tab into edit mode. And I might just press Z, bring up wireframe. I want to add a couple of edge loops for the wall thickness. So I'm going to press Control R, left click and just drag that in here. Control R and the same up here. So if I switch to vertex selection, I'm going to zoom in over here and I'm going to get a segment. I'm also going to do the same thing here, get a segment for these two and I can show both. So if I all select this edge here first, I can press GG and just slide this up. And I really just want a thickness of 0.25 left click. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Just all select this, press GG, slide this over and get 0.25. So I'm done with the dimensions, so I can just delete them. Control tab, just switch to face, select this face, zoom out. I can select this one and this one. So I'm going to extrude up. So I'm going to come back around here, press Z, come back to solid. I can press E. I'm just going to go to the top of the window height. So if I press and hold control, I can snap this up here. And I want to add a doorway to this wall before we go any further. And what I might do is just tab back to object mode first. I just want to see, do I need to apply this scale here? So we definitely do. So control A, I'm going to apply the scale. So if I come back into edit mode, so I'm going to press seven, just come into top view. I'm just going to switch to edge selection and I'm going to select these edges around the corners here. Just these top edges. and zoom in i'm going to press ctrl b and just give these a slight bevel something like this just to take that sharpness off of them that's all so i want to add a doorway here so if i just line it up here ctrl r left click and just right click and i can press gy and just snap it to the edge of the house there just roughly so rather than using measure it to get a width of one meter from this i'm just going to try a different method of adding edge loops so i'm going to press ctrl r left click and I'm just going to slide this right down to the same position as the other one and left click. Now I know the door width is one meter, so I'm going to press G, Y and negative one and press enter. And I also know the height is going to be 2.2. So I'm going to press control R, left click and slide this right down to the base. So I can press G, Z, 2.2 and press enter. So I'm going to press control tab, switch to face, just select these two faces and press X and choose faces. So if I switch to edge, I'm going to alt select this edge, press and hold shift and alt select this one. I can press W and under loop tools, I'm going to choose bridge. So I want to get an insertion point. So if I select this bottom edge and this one, shift S cursor to selected, I'm going to tab back to object mode and you can see from the shading that it's smooth. So that's from the mesh we copied it from. So I'm just going to come back to tools and just hit the flat shading, okay, and bring that back to normal. So if I come up to create, it's gonna come back in over here actually. And I'm gonna choose door. Now, for some reason, my preset is not working. So I'm just gonna select the standard and I'm going to make the necessary adjustments. So for the width, it's gonna be one meter. It was 30 cm. For the depth, it was 2.2 meters for the height. The offset was 17 centimeters. The next two measurements are fine. The panels are fine. The depth is fine. 10 cm and it was model number one. So the horizontal was six. The spacing was one cm. The border was one millimeter and the bevel was five. So that's the same height. I can see there I have to adjust my wall. So what I wanted to do was just transfer both the material and the UV maps from this doorway onto this one. So with the frame selected on this one, I'm going to shift select the frame over here, press control L. I'm going to transfer UV maps first, control L again, and I'm going to link the material. I'm going to do the same thing for the doorway part. So if I select this, shift select the door over here, control L. So transfer the UV maps, control L, and just transfer the materials. So I'm going to come over to materials, select this guy and just remove the old materials there, select this and remove the old materials so i'm going to select this press r z 90 press enter i'm going to select my wall and just tab into edit mode i'm actually going to press 
tree and I can bring up wireframe. I can box select this edge loop just to make sure it's all selected. Zoom in and I can just press G, Z and snap that up there somewhere. Maybe, well, you could maybe go halfway or just above. Okay, come back to solid and I can come back to object mode. And if you want to check that the material is okay from here, I'm just going to press, I'm just going to press zero actually. And for my camera, I can just bring over this and just give it a quick render. Okay, and that's good for a base material. You can always make adjustments to it, but it's in position. So I'm gonna come back to solid. Just press zero to come out of camera. And I'm gonna add a material to this wall. So I'm gonna remove what's on it, which is the green and the blue. And I'm going to add the external wall render. So it matches the house. Now that updates this guy here. So I might just tab into edit mode switch to face selection and just maybe add a new material slot here add back in those roads material onto that and we can just hit assign so it's not so overwhelming so i'm going to come back to object mode okay and that's going to do it for this one